Apparently, this hotel has an awesome all-you-can-eat seafood buffet, and that's what I'm gonna be feasting on today. Of course, I love seafood, and I love buffet, so cannot wait. And, oh man, I'm just kind of distracted. Look how pretty. Wow, you look so good. Oh my god. And for today we have a cold poached salmon as well. Oh wow. With your own breeds and put your sauce in the Oh nice. So I get, I get to make my own salad here. Yeah. So over here we'll be the tandoori station. And you'll see the chef is doing a tandoori lobster right now. Oh. But today probably it's a tandoori new custard lemon. What? That looks spectacular. Wow. Over here, for today's coffee we have a whole yeah. roast salmon. This one is uh, just a honey syrup. Ginger ale? By the way, this is Martin. This guy is a genius. Hey, he's a, he's a, just, just a genius with drinks. And Martin prepared, check this out. This is, this is crazy. Honey syrup going on the cotton candy. Lit up ice cube inside. Ginger ale because I don't drink. There we go. Yo, Martin, you are a beverage genius. Thank you so much, enjoy. Thank you so much, thank you. This hotel is just too awesome. And that's delicious. Let me show you around the buffet. This is the salad bar, or, or the salad shelf. It's like a library of meats and cheeses. This is the cold bar. King crab, mussels, crawfish. I love it when seafood buffets have lobster. It's always important. Soba noodles, score. And you guys make ceviche on the spot here. Yep. That's awesome. I think this here is my favorite section. And he's my best friend. He just doesn't know it yet. He is, but he is. What is this? Fish head curry? Wow. Saffron rice. Tandoori mint crusted lamb leg. This is the highlights. Eight hours to cook it. You have more than just that one, right? You only have one? Do you have two? One more? Okay. Because I might eat that one. It's the rest of it. Is this fresh none? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you. Got a whole roasted salmon here. Man, that thing looks kind of fierce. Seared snapper, duck confit. That looks great. Raised beef cheek. Holy cow, they have black pepper crab here. Only difference is I can eat as many as I want. What is, whoa, this looks crazy. This is the super noodle station. Wow. Nasi Lamarck lollipop. And that's transformed lollipop. into a lollipop. So all the flavors are in the biscuit and inside the filling. That's crazy, isn't it? Can, I, I can yeah, take just one? Just take one out. Cool. I'll take two of those. Thank you so much. Oh, this is great. I love soba noodles. I mean, this might be taking up a lot of real estate in my stomach, but I gotta have it. Chili crab burger? Oh, no way. Yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fantastic. All right, round one. I'm sorry, this egg actually belongs on the soba. Seafood salad, lobster, king crab, salmon, and some pork. This is really interesting. This is a nasi lemak lollipop. I've only had nasi lemak just a few days ago for the first time. And it smells like it. Wow. They turned that dish into sort of a dessert pastry item. Oh, they're spicing here. It's a little sweet. I get the samba sauce. Oh, this is a winner. Take a sip of my glowy drink. Coolest thing ever. This is a chili crab burger. Look at this. Already I see a ton of crab meat. A little bit of lettuce, a lot of chili sauce. This is out of this world. It tastes exactly like it sounds. It's a chili crab burger. There's a ton of crab in here. And the great thing about this is I don't need to crack the shells. I don't need to do any of the work. Let's put this in my mouth. And whenever you see lobster and king crab, you just gotta get it. This is like the perfect shellfish duel. When that whole piece just comes out, that's called a crab behaving nicely. Look at that. My favorite way to eat king crab is grilled, but on its own, sweet little saltiness from the seawater. I eat these things as much for flavor as me wanting to make sure I eat my value at a buffet. Full of soba. And check this out. This egg, I think, is gonna be the star. Look at this. Ready? 
That is a beautiful, beautiful egg. This is the perfect amount of runniness. You want your egg on top of your noodles. You don't want it too runny, otherwise your noodles can't catch up. Because noodles can't run. I'm just gonna take a nice big chopstick full of all that. Mm. Oh, that egg. Eat some noodles, eat some salmon. Be as creative as you want. All right, let's go for round two. I'm being taken to somewhere special. So I don't, I don't know where I'm going. Maybe, maybe it's because they think I eat too much of uh, the buffet. I don't know, but ooh, ooh, let me show you. What? You're cooking crab this way? Yeah, inside the hot charcoal. Wow, man. You gotta have some skills. You gotta be really quick. This is really hot work. Chef is gonna make me one. Holy cow. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? You tell me that doesn't look good. This is happy. <laughs> this, is what, this is what happiness looks like. Cracking crabs. Putting them into like deformed buckets. That was a beautiful tour. Those are the types of tour I just love. I mean, museums are nice, nature trails are good, but roasting a bunch of crab over charcoal, that's epic. There's four crabs in here, and it comes with all these different types of sauces. Let me just try this sauce here. Ah. Oh. You can taste that charcoal. It just smells so heavenly, you know? It smells like a crabby barbecued forest. This is the Chipotle. I've enjoyed a lot of crab since I came to Singapore. Oh. But this might be the crabbiest day of all. all right, as much as I'm enjoying my crab, which, which I am, I just heard a fresh leg of lamb just came out, so we gotta go get some. This is it. Tandoori mint crusted lamb leg. Look at that. That <laughs> just looks superb. See all that juice glistening in there? Let's get some mint chutney. That's for me? Wow. Grilled lobster. Some magic spices. Yeah, magic spices for sure. This is crazy. Lobster cooked in a tandoori oven. That's something I never tried before that I can't wait to try. Are you kidding me with how good that tastes? It's so extremely succulent, just slightly charred. Beautiful, beautiful smoky flavor. And the spice they put in there is, is kind of like tandoori chicken, but it's a lobster. So it is so much better. Can I cannot wait to try this tandoori lamb. Wow. First of all, that lamb is so soft. I'm pretty sure it works for Serta. My crust is fantastic. Freshly baked garlic naan. <laughs> oh my God, I love this so much. I didn't know none could be this fluffy and soft. Oh, I just had a thought. I'm gonna take my lobster. He gave me four pieces, by the way. That, that, that's like, it's like the perfect amount of lobster. I'm gonna put it inside the none. Then I'm gonna add a little lamb. Wrap all that in a garlic butter none. Surf and turf none burrito. Somebody should just make this and sell it. Takes a piece of this ferocious looking salmon here. A little butter. Seared snapper. Yes, please. Duck confit. Gotta get some braised beef cheek. I know I've got a lot of crab already, but I can't say no to black pepper crab. I just a little bit of everything because I want to taste it all. Chopo mashed potatoes, awesome. Oh. Let me show you, let me show you. Look at this. You see that? This is how tender it is. That's crazy. That's just almost like this mashed potato here. In fact, here, let's eat it like that. Now, I love duck. I've had many a ducks in my lifetime. One of my favorite cartoon characters is Daffy Duck, but I would eat him if he tasted like this. Oh, steamed steam dumplings. And let's go for some chicken laksa. How it works is that I take a bowl and I put in whatever I want to go into my soup. So, a little rice noodle, fried tofu, fish cakes, sprouts. Thank you. And I just add in whatever I want. So I'm gonna add in some peanuts, a little dried fish, some chilies. Let's try this out. And I'm sure this does not compare to any local laksa shop or any hawker centers. <laughs> this tastes pretty good to me. I still got more crab. I'm both excited and, and terrified because I, I've only gone through two and there's a bunch more. We're gonna do this. We're, we're gonna do this happily.
All right, crab is done, and, and now we're formally onto dessert. Yeah, like the, the last thing, that was just a preview. And okay, I, I might have went a little crazy with my dessert, because you gotta understand, dessert is one of the most important part of a meal, of a well-balanced meal, and a great way to feed your second stomach. That's gorgeous. This is the first time I've ever seen a strawberry chocolate fountain, though I, I don't know, I just had to dip some marshmallows in there. This is just like Lucky Charms covered in strawberry chocolate, and this is a cake covered in strawberry chocolate. A little overly decadent, sure. Delicious and fun, definitely. Let's dig into some of these cakes. This is an exotic cake. I, I, I don't even want to cut into it. Look how just perfect this is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Looks like it has some kind of uh, mango mousse in there. Wow, exotic it is. Coconut flakes in here, beautiful lemon mousse. This top part here, that's just ridiculously delicate. Next, little pistachio cake. There's real pieces of pistachio in here. I mean, all these cakes, I feel like they share the same characteristic that the upper part, it, it just, you don't need to chew this at all, zero. It's just so nutty, earthy, and good. Out of all the cakes I had tonight, th this is so far the best one. I'm really excited about this one. This is lychee rose. And I think there's a big, big piece of lychee here. So I'm just gonna grab all that. Hmm. That's fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. I love lychee. Mmm, mmm. There's some raspberry in here as well. This tastes like lychee went to give raspberry a rose and they somehow all fell into a cake. And this is really interesting. Very tiramisu, but... Best one tonight. Just knocked the pistachio cake off his pedestal. Real fresh blueberries. I'm pretty sure I just ate a flower and I liked it. This is rosella jelly. Oh man, get it. It's all wet. Yeah, looks like bursting bubbles. It's bursting bubbles. I'm just okay with this. I'm not a huge fan of bursting bubbles. This one caught my eye because, you know, I, I tend to have an eye for beautiful food. This is a raspberry cheesecake and this, this is a stunner. This looks like, I don't know, the Maserati sports car of desserts. Ah, oh, man, every time I cut into one of these things, I feel so bad. Looks like there's some raspberry jam inside the cheesecake and that's just glistening, right? If you like cheesecake and you like raspberry, you'll love this. It is a little too tart for me, but I feel like that's just really a personal choice. This is a simple, well, not simple, tiramisu. It's so good. Are, are my eyes glazing over yet? I, I feel the sneeze is coming too. What a tremendous food experience would be an understatement. From the selection to the quality of the ingredients. And I'm not just saying this because they brought me four extra crabs. From the variety to the creativity. I mean, did you see that salad bookshelf? Definitely one of the best all you can eat seafood experiences I've ever had. Also, usually I, I don't care about service. I really don't because typically I go eat in Chinatown and you kind of expect that, okay, service is really not part of the equation here. But this place, from the moment I walked in, is not only because it's me, because I see the staff interacting with all the other customers. I mean, it's the level of detail given to every single person. I, I saw a person at the table next to me ask for some pasta, which is not on the buffet, and, and they went and cooked it for them. And I'm just sitting here stuffing my face with four crabs in a bucket, and it's all messy, and I'm getting all nasty, and they just keep bringing me new plates and wipes. And maybe that is the way service is in all nice restaurants in Singapore, I don't know, but I was really impressed. So of course, if you wanna check this buffet out, all the information is listed for you guys in my description box below. And until we eat again, I'll see you later. Mm. I'm gonna take this home.